In this video, I'll be giving you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use a Trojan bot on Solana. This video will cover exactly how to set up the bot and how to use it to buy coins on the Solana network. Now, if you've never used this bot before, I'll actually include an invitation link in the video description down below. And when you click on that link, you'll get taken to this Telegram page where you can actually start using the bot. And what you want to do is just click start at the bottom here and it will then create a wallet for us, as you can see here of my wallet address, and it will show us our balance. Now, since I've just set up this bot, obviously my balance is zero because I haven't yet sent any money into the bot. So the first thing we will need to do in order to start using Trojan Bot today is to send over some funds. And you're going to have to make sure you send over Solana on the Solana network. So what I'm first going to do is click this button here to copy my Solana wallet address. And I now want to send over some money into this wallet address. Okay, so I've sent over some Solana now. So what I can do is go to the bottom right corner and click refresh. And as you can see, my balance has now been updated and it shows that I've got 0.1 Solana in my wallet. So now that we've actually got some Solana in our wallet, that means that we can trade. However, before we start, we're going to go over to the settings and we're just going to change a few things. Now, the first thing we will actually see inside of these settings is fast or turbo. Now, this actually refers to your priority fee. And if we set this to turbo, that means we're less likely to get a failed transaction. So the first thing I'd recommend you do is actually set that to turbo. You can also do a custom fee to raise the priority higher. However, in my opinion, Turbo works just fine. From here, we can see buy settings. So I'm going to click on this. And these first buttons are actually our preset buttons. So we want to set these to amounts which we will commonly use. So for example, if we tend to trade with 0.1 Solana for every buy, you might want to change this from 0.5 down to 0.1. And you can customize all of these. So if you're never going to have a trade with 10 Solana, you can lower this down and you want these set to amounts that you commonly use as it's going to save you time when you actually go to buy. In terms of your buy slippage, you may want to raise this higher, but in my opinion, I keep mine on about 15 to 20%. However, if you're going for coins that are very volatile, you might want to raise this up. So we can now go back and this time we're going to click on sell settings. Now, this is similar to last time. These two buttons here basically are presets for the amount that you want to sell. So obviously this button will sell 50% of what you have and this button will sell 100%. Now for slippage, I tend to set this a bit higher as you do want to make sure you are selling at the correct time. If your sell transaction fails and then your coin starts crashing, it could lose you a lot of money. So I tend to set the sell slippage to between 20 and 25%, but I'm just going to set it to 20 for this video. From here, I'm going to go back and we can now see these MEV protection buttons. Now, by turning these on, they can protect you from getting mev However, it is going to slow down your transactions. So personally, I leave this off because I want my transactions to be as fast as possible. Now we move on to auto buy and auto sell. Auto buy will basically buy a coin automatically when you paste the contract into the bot. And it works similarly with sell as well. But personally, I don't tend to use these because I find it's easier with them turned off. Now for confirmed trades, it tells us up here what it means. And if it's turned off, that means your transaction will go through a lot faster. Because when it's set to green, that means you have to confirm the transaction after clicking the amount that you want to buy. Now from here, I turn PL values on because I want to see the profit loss I'm receiving. And from there, those are the settings that I would recommend. So we can now go back here. And now I'm going to cover how we can actually buy coins with the bot. So I found a random coin here on Solana. And let's just scroll down to actually find the contract address. We can find it here. And I'm just going to click this button to copy it. And we can now go back to Telegram. So all we have to do is just paste in that contract address that we just got. And as you can see, this appears with some useful information about the coin, as well as this interface down here, which allows us to actually buy it. So to start with, we go over these three categories, which are swap, limit and DCA. Swap allows you to instantly buy. So you can click this button here to set a custom amount. And let's just say I was trying to buy a really small amount. I could do that and click enter. And it'll actually put my transaction through, as you can see. And after just a few minutes, my transaction will go through. So next up, there's limit. And this allows us to buy it at a certain price. So you first have to choose how much you want to buy. So I'm just going to keep it set to this amount. And from there, you can set the trigger price as well as the expiry. So as you can see, this is the price right here. So let's click on trigger price. And from here, you can put in either a percentage, a price, or a market cap. So if you wanted to buy at 30% lower, for example, we could do minus 30%. And then when we click enter, it will set the trigger price 30% lower than what it is right now. We also want to set an expiry so that it does end at a certain time. Because if you leave these running forever and it finally hits your trigger price, you could end up buying it when you're not trying to. However, once you've set all of these details, we can go ahead and click create order. 
and the final option is DCA, and this stands for Dollar Cost Average. So you can first set the amount of Solana that you want to buy, and then you can choose the interval in which it buys it, how long it goes on for, as well as the minimum and maximum price you want to buy it at. So if you wanted to buy this much worth of Solana every 5 minutes, we could click interval and we could change it to 5M and click enter and it's now set to 5 minute intervals. We can now click duration and we can choose how long we want it to go on for. So if we only wanted to do this for like 30 minutes, we could do 30M and click enter and those have now been set. And then you can choose the minimum and maximum price that you want to buy this coin at. And then once you're happy with all these, you can click create order and it will start buying this much Solana every 5 minutes for 30 minutes. Now in order to actually sell our coins, we can either go over to the sell tab or the positions tab, which will allow us to see all of our positions. But as you can see, I'm only holding this one. And from here, it allows us to buy more or sell more. Or you can click on sell. And from there, it will show us all of the coins that we have. We can then click on this one and then click start again. And it will now open the sell interface. So we can sell 50% or 100% with our preset buttons or we can set a custom amount which we want to sell. And there's also swap, limit, and DCA on the sell part of this as well. Now, as I said earlier, there are limit orders and DCA orders, and you can manage those in these sections here simply by clicking on them and either editing them or deleting them. And then the final noteworthy feature is copy trade. And when we click on that, it allows us to copy the buys and sells of any target wallet. So if we had a really profitable wallet which we wanted to copy trade off, we could paste it in here it will actually allow us to copy the exact buys and sells whenever the target wallet makes a transaction. Now, if you want to learn how to copy trade and find profitable wallets on Solana, I do have another video on my channel that covers how to do that. So make sure you check that out if you want to learn how to copy trade using Trojan on Solana. Now, the final thing I will say is if the bot ever gets slow and it seems to not really process the transactions properly, you can use any of these backup bots by simply clicking on it. And it will then open up a new version of the bot, which we can click start on. And as you can see, all of our details carry across to these different bots so we won't lose any of our positions or anything it will just basically be running on a different server and it should hopefully make your trades a bit faster but other than that this has been my tutorial showing you how to use trojan bot on solana as i said earlier if you need to try this out for yourself i'll include an invitation link in the video description down below and that will allow you to access this bot so you can start trading on solana today using the trojan trading bot so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please comment down below to say it helped you out Thanks for watching.